Good afternoon and welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Let me give you a quick Dirty Max update to start out this video. So the taillights, a lot of people did not like the taillights and I know they are a little bit ricey but they're just a very temporary fix. And uh, what I did was, if you saw last night's video where I took them out, what I did was put them back in and I just switched the uh, light around so that the brake light is now in the red section and the reverse light is in the clear section and No, you fuckers. I did not put them in upside down and on the wrong side They will literally only fit one way. Come on. I know I don't work on my cars, but I'm not that bad got a little bit of a uh little bit of water on the camera. For the headlights, one of the reasons why I did switch them out, even though this is more boring than the LEDs I had, is because the LEDs were going bad, and like I said, the HIDs were going bad. So again, just like the tail lights, uh, I am going to come up with a cooler solution for this in the long term as well. Not really long term, they should be here in like two weeks. Honestly, I don't think they look that bad, but I think I'm gonna try the LEDs next. Like the really cool modern ones where it has like an outer turn signal and then the light is inside of it. It's gonna look fucking cool. Moving on to the main point of today's upload, which is dropping off the C7. Um, it's gonna suck ass because it just started raining. And of course, I am on drag radials. Not just any drag radials either. Bald ass drag radials. So, uh, this should be a fun drive. By the way, let me know if you think I should get a Corsa system for the C5 to match my C7. They hit me up and said we can get you a good deal. Um, so, I might do it. Let's go ahead and start her up. Oh my God, it's fucking terrible. I hate it. It's so scary. It's the worst fucking thing in the world. You just slide all over the place. It uh, teaches you how to be a better driver though, I can tell you that. Yeah, I made it and I uh, did not die at in-chain designs. Terrible drive, not fun. As usual, waiting on the uh, in-chain designs team here to open up the door. Should be only about 30 or 40 more minutes and then they'll uh, figure it out. Somehow seems a lot tighter going in from the back. No, wait a minute. T.I. You in here jamming out, buddy. Old school TI. All right, all right. What's up, Patrick? Patrick Star? <laughs> what? Smell that. Seriously, No, no, you're gonna spray it in my face. Oh, it smells bad. Vinegar. There's no scent coming out of this. I wonder why you're so fucked up. You're in here huffing paint all the time. You're here too? What's up, man? What kind of a question is that? That's right, of course you're here. What happened? We found out that the front bumper and the rear bumper was repainted. Yeah. So that's why it wasn't prepped right. That's why it removed paint. And it was just down in a little area. So, I mean. You're not too bad. No. And, and look, just to be very clear, this was not Shane's wrap job, by no. the way. It came in here to get, to get a removed. new wrap job. Dealership sold it to a guy. He didn't want the wrap on it. They brought it to us to remove it. Yep. And just a few. See, the thing is, too, the thing wasn't put together properly either. Really? Nuts and bolts. Are you serious? Yeah, so we're documenting everything, taking photos, and the dealership's gonna replace all that. See, that guy would have never known. No. Good shit. Never known. So yeah, this area is like here, just on the rear bumper and the front bumper, like down inside the seam, it peeled like you know the clear off and and some paint. That's right. Because they did not do anything in those seams. I mean, who would? Honestly, yeah. If you repaint yeah. it, they prep the outside and then just flash it. I don't know. I am surprised he didn't like the blue because I saw I him like multiple times car, driving dude. around and I always looked at it and I was like, that thing is fucking sick. It's not, dude, the blue is perfect with the yellow cap. I know, yeah. Great color combo. He basically had a blue on this car that looked, well, just about like that. The grabber blue is very close. And uh, I was a big fan, but hey, he didn't like it. It's his car to each his own. Wait, what do you think of the truck? Dude, I think it looks good. So that was that's came in from Baltimore last night. Uh, Who came in from Baltimore? Z71. Like, a truck. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Let us slap a freaking kid on there. It looks good on hey, the truck too. On. So he's getting a full paint protection, full ceramic coating. We now have plenty of shirts in stock on the website. They'll ship out right away. We're trying to figure out how many we should order to bring to the call out and still have enough on the website. And the camo. And the camo ones. It's a lot of work, Bye. which we appreciate. You guys are buying these Killing. and loving them. Killing. Yeah. Awesome. You say, Pat? Like five. five to the call out. Yeah. You think I can sell five? I don't know, dude. I'm 
Yeah. You could probably sell five Pat Ruels. I could definitely sell five Pat shirts. I don't think I could sell five Street Speed shirts. His own though, I'll give him that. He does have his own, like Fi Fi. He definitely stole my word though. He stole Savage. Like instead of saying fire, I don't even use Savage. You use it all the time. If you didn't see my Instagram post this morning, if you don't follow me on Instagram and Shane and Pat too. Did you see my, did you see my comment on your one of those? No, what'd you say? It was in the minute. Oh, you said definitely a Honda? Yeah. yeah. Kind of did look like an NSX, I'm not gonna lie. I probably will never get one. Savage, dude. Five five, bro. What we were talking about on Instagram is the stripe kits. Now, we all know that Shane has a stripe kit for the Corvettes and for Mustangs, but... Actually, we just converted it to a universal. It's the Corvette. It's on the Mazda. Well, it has to be different lengths, though, for different cars. Well, we made it 29 inches, so it'll fit pretty much anything. Okay. So that's it. Standard size is what makes it universal. Two stripes, a whole bunch of different colors. So we got blue. Up on the site, we have blue. Obviously, satin black, killer combo. Satin black, gloss black, flat black. Flat black, gloss black. We don't Carbon have this flash. color up. Carbon flash. And we have teal, correct? You got arctic white? Yeah, we have white. But this is the gold flake. I don't right. know if people would like that or not. We could put it up. I mean, it's a sick freaking color. Look at that. I know, I like it. Can you pick, can you grab that? You might be able to see it. Curtis, get away from the car. What? Curtis, what are you doing? You're writing AIDS on the back. Dude, I definitely what is, AIDS. What, is, what I are you doing? You, I didn't what do are you anything. doing? Nothing. Curtis. What's that? I would say don't make me move you, Dude, but Pat, I can't. Don't do that. What the hell? Inappropriate! I'm gonna get demonetized. I'm sorry by the way, Shane. The car is a fucking wreck. Well, that's cool. You're just gonna text. That was a, a great drive too. Like, oh oh my here. god. So here's what we're gonna do. Troy's got all of his detailing stuff over here, nice and organized. Not only am I gonna use it to clean my filthy, disgusting car that just drove through rain, um, I'm gonna just disorganize the shit out of everything just he has. It. Yeah. So like, oh see Troy, God. see he's so perfect and anal about this shit. So if I were to just do this, like that, that alone is enough oh, to make him lose it. He'll be like, who, who is touching my cart? Here, who is so, fucking touching my cart? So watch this, take this sticker. And you flip it upside down. You get like a mess. Yeah, wow. Take one of these. Oh my god. Put this over here. And then I'm gonna take his bucket. He's calling out Matt Mormon and his buckets. Hey, was that Matt that I ran into on the no, highway the other day? No, I, I know. Look I, at this clip. Whoa, look at that. That's not something you see on the road every day. Woo! That thing is fucking nice. And I asked him. He said it wasn't. It him. wasn't him. His, his, so somebody else, yeah. on the same day, same day, bought a white GT3 RS yep. and was driving around. His has Ohio plates. That one had Jersey, right? Yep. Yeah. I texted him. Really. He said it wasn't him. That's fucking crazy. That would've been awesome. In the same spec, awesome. white with yellow no, calipers. No, it really wouldn't have because it would kind of be messed up that he didn't stop by if he was coming through. Yeah. Well, he but yeah, he's like two it minutes wasn't away. Him or else we would have had to like. Well, I would have been offended. I've never even met the guy, but I still would have been I offended. Even met him either. This one was in the corner, bro. Well, where's all, I need his actual detail and stuff. It's not here. Does he take it with him? It's in here. Here it is. Here oh, it is. He Here's the, the goods. I've been using this feature a lot. I like it. I know. I like it. You hit the lock button. So when you get a customer in here with a C7Z or C7, Lock button, hold that in.
fucking hurt my ears. Yeah, that one hurt. That one hurt. I'm sorry. You can't be doing that inside, man. That's too much. Holy fuck, that was loud. I'm not gonna lie, you hit it and it was like firing a gun. Like you get that moment of silence in the ringing. If you just got the Corsa for yours, like just the Corsa Extreme, or even the Corsa and the mid pipe. I wanna do headers and mid pipe that'll leave That's what this is. I'll leave the stock mufflers. Okay, that'll still be pretty loud. Track mode, it'll still be very loud with the stock system. This car is a lot louder than my old one though. This is his car, by the way. This place no sound. Yeah, it's so fucking quiet. I would hear it lower. You can hear the supercharger though, that's yeah, pretty cool. I would hear it <laughs> my last Mustang was a uh, Corsa Extreme Catback. Okay. It's like fucking loud for me. Man. Yeah, Corsa in my opinion is the loudest and the best. I like how you can hear them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that thing looks great, man. I love it. Love the black and the red. Look at that. Stripe kit to match the calipers. All black and red, of course. Fucking satin? awesome. Oh, you have satin in the middle. Finger, I didn't even notice. And up top. And oh, up yeah. Top. Yeah, that's nice. Troy, you're here. This is for your car. Oh, this is for me? Oh, a little baby. Oh, Troy, and that's so nice of you. A clear your visor. visor for your helmet. Well, so let's see so it. Now, let's at, open it up. So, Oh, that's for no, me? No, this is for you. Because you oh. have the tinted one, remember? Yeah. And I figured you're driving a night probably like, can't see shit, cat. That's <laughs> so nice of you to do that <laughs> for me. Troy, new. I can't even... How do so I a little you? backstory. Mike's helmet that used to be my helmet. We both had the same size cranium. Apparently. Yes, that is true. I I totally forgot about that. My drag racing helmet is Troy's old fucking motorcycle yeah, helmet. Yeah, but so the first thing I did on the bikes were put smoke shields on. So I I was going through stuff. And I'm like, oh. I feel like I look pretty badass with my smoke shield. Well, yeah, but sometimes at night, depending where you're at, right, you need to be able to see. Well, I can offer you this Three Stooges thing that I bought oh, recently. We already have Three Stooges. Okay. Troy, before you get any more upset, uh, I've got out all your detailing stuff, but I definitely didn't disorganize anything, and um, I didn't use anything, so everything's going to be okay. What did you use that I have to rebuild? I didn't use anything. I really didn't. I was going to use all your stuff, and then I used alcohol instead. Is that what I smell? Yeah, so don't worry. Well, I didn't I have to go through it. I'm all... I'm sorry, Troy. All I also disorganized your cart. Yeah, well, that's called being a douche. Yep. So that is what I'm doing at Insane Designs today. I am dropping off the C7 to get wrapped, as I'm sure you have guessed by now. And it should be done in just a couple of days. Curtis is going to bang it out. Right. Yep. And uh, it's going to be fucking awesome. I think it's going to be my best Corvette wrap ever. I definitely do think that. Get excited, everybody. Troy's excited. Yeah. See you, Pat. Check out Pat on Instagram and on YouTube. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Sadly, no more yellow car. Should be back soon and it won't be yellow anymore. The wrap is going to be insane. We are down to just the Dirty Max and the C5. So I hope that you enjoyed this upload. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you are stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. Take care. Have a great day.